We're going hopping, hop, we're going hopping today when things are popping. Hop, a Philadelphia way, we're gonna drop and drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Welcome back. Nice to see you again, John. Thank you. Uh, with your permission, reintroduce everybody, even though they were here before. We'll start with the man, uh, let's see, furthest on the left, right rather. Gary Guitar Grammolini. Thank you, Gary. Next. Michael Toons and Toons on the sax. And on drums, you better stand up, sir. Let's get a good shot of this man. It's Kenny Joe Silver on the drums. Thank you, Kenny. Next to us. Pat Lupo on bass. Thank you, Pat. And over here. And Bobby Couture on the keyboard. Thank you, Bobby. Is it true all you guys lived in a nine-room house at one time? Yeah, for about six years we all lived together. How'd you keep from killing each other? Well, we're all pretty good friends, you know. No, obviously, your life changed. We were talking about Eddie and the Cruisers, which was not a theatrical box office success, but it was when it got to cable, which gave birth to the album, a million seller. How does the music now differ from what you did in that album? Well, the music for the film was uh, primarily that. It was written for a, a fictional band in a movie. And the new album, Tough All Over, is uh, it's a little more real. It was written for a real-life band, uh, more real-life stories and the lyrics. And, uh, that's probably how it's different. Has your head changed at all as you've, as you've matured? Not that you're an old <laughs> man, but I mean, you still write about the same stuff you did when you were a kid? Uh, well, I think as you get older, maybe you write about different things. But uh, as far as us changing as, as people, I think uh, it's too late for us to change now. <laughs> if you've been able to stand each other for 13 years, nothing is going to change. You told me you've been traveling constantly. How long have you been on the road? Oh, we started last fall, sometime around October. You ever taken any time off? Oh, just a couple of weeks here and there. What do you do when you get time off? Do you have any relaxation? Relax. <laughs> Nothing at all? Just sit and stew and look and stare at your navel? I try to stay in shape. Yeah, yeah, you look like you're in pretty good. Well, you get most exercise of anybody back there. What do you do when you take time off? Uh, relax, practice, watch. Play the instrument again? Baseball, all right. Last question, what do you do when you're not working on the road? I work in my studio, I work out, uh, trying to hit the beach whenever I can. You are from the beach, was it Rhode Island, wasn't it? Yeah. The Ocean State. What are you going to be doing in the month of August yeah. coming up? Well, I think we're going to go on a tour. I think we're going to... Uh... More relaxation. That's <laughs> right. Is it one-nighters in lots of cities and all that? Yeah, I think we're going to hit every major city in the country, and it's going to last for quite a few months. All right, folks, you've had your relaxation. Here, we'll put you back to work again. Look for them this summer. John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band.